I will literally see them come up. There we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Pi Headquarters. This is where we are today. And back by popular demand <laughs> is Holly. So me and Holly are skin coaches at Pi. Um, already, look, you get so many love hearts. I can't even cope. Everyone loves Holly. Um, and what's not to love? Because she's lovely. Um, but we are skin coaches at Pi. Um, Holly's been with Pi the longest. So what is, is it? The oh, it's coming up for 15 years. 15? Oh my God. I think it might be 14 or 15 years. Oh yes. my God. Yeah. I mean, she obviously has tremendous amount of knowledge. So we're really excited that Holly um, has agreed to do another show with me again, because we love the first one. So we, and we hope you guys did as well. Um, but we've got a really great topic that we've actually not done before. And actually isn't something that is, is talked about quite a lot. And it really should be, um, is body care. Um, and kind of the reason why we're doing it is because it's coming into summer. Everyone wants, you know, to, like, to make sure that they're all looking good. You know, we're getting our arms out, we're getting our legs out. Um, so that's what this show is going to be all about because we tend to neglect our body. So all on body today. Um, normally, it would be the lovely Katya who is doing our moderating on the chat, so answering all of your questions. But very excitingly, she got married recently and she's on her honeymoon in lovely Mauritius. <laughs> Um, so we're very, very jealous, but we've got the lovely Jess who is taking over for today. So, um, Jess will be answering all of your questions. Um, of course, we're going to try and get to some of them as well. Um, but just, we always like these shows to be really, really engaging and, you know, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Interactive. Thank you. Yeah. Interactive. This is why I've got Holly. Good you know. conversation. <laughs> so um, please do feed them in. Um, even if you like, you know, something that we are talking about, um, just give us like loads of hearts. Let us know that you're enjoying the show. Um, and yeah, of course, don't feel like you need to have us up on this big screen. Like you can absolutely like go shopping with us um, still talking to you so what will happen is it will minimize us in the bottom of your screen and yeah we just we'll just go shopping with you so and then if you've got a question we're right there ready for you to ask away and we'll answer it for you or Jess will so um I think that's everything send us lots of hearts if you like and stuff like I said um say hello so we've got some people saying hello already Sam hello Chrissy hello Joe Danny Hi everybody. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the show. It's all on body care. So um, we have also got a very special offer just before I forget. And it is basically 20% off all of the body range. Um, Jess has got a very handy little link that basically will go straight to the page with all of those products that will have 20% off. Because we're going to talk about quite a few different products and some of them aren't always going to be body products either so the the actual body products we're going to be talking about and um jess has just pinned it for you um will have 20 percent off with the code summer 20 percent off with the code summer on the body products so without further ado should we crack on yes what would you like to start with so um Firstly, as I was saying at the very, very beginning, the reason that we are doing a body show is because we tend to really neglect our bodies, don't we? I'm I'm really bad for this because, you know, we take so much care with like the skin on our face, you know, doing cleanser, tonic, serum, moisturizer, oil, you know, we do loads for our skin, but what do we do for our body? Is anyone actually good at doing their body care? Who moisturizes and, you know, maybe does, does like a body oil or exfoliates? Um, because I think we just tend to neglect it quite a bit. I'm definitely really bad for this and I have really dry skin on my body. So a few years ago, I got, got, got guttate psoriasis and it's basically like these little droplets that of psoriasis that appear all over your body. And from then I was like, oh, I really should start like moisturizing my body. And now if I don't moisturize on particular days, my skin gets really tight, like particularly across my back and my shoulders. So um, yeah, I definitely need to moisturize my body, but sometimes it can just be, if I'm like in a bit of a rush, 
I do. Yeah, it's to do with time, yeah. isn't it? Really, as well. It depends on how much time you've got. Yeah, and... I think so. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that that's one of the reasons that we wanted to do this show was to kind of basically give the body a bit of love and you know show what we've got um in terms of products to help you with that like, your body care. Um. Like we said, of course, summer is coming, so we've got like a few like handy little tips and tricks for for stuff on the body. Um. With things like after you've had sun exposure, um, we've got a really lovely product if you are going out anywhere and you want to show off your tan off your legs or like decollete or anything like that um so stay tuned for all of that um of course talking about like the seasonal change so of course like you know maybe wanting a lighter moisturizer for the body for the summer and then um you know a more richer one for the winter months when everywhere the skin gets drier um, and of course we're going to be talking about skin conditions as well on the body and there's loads of different things even talking about back acne and chest acne so yeah stay tuned for that um like i said we like these um lives to be really interactive so if you've got any questions about the body at all do pop them in jess is on hand to answer your questions and um, of course we will um we'll be answering some of them as well um also holly's very good at keeping a beady eye on the comments i just like tend to like talk really like uh, such a lot but you're really good have you noticed anything yet um i think uh christy was asking something actually that i think jess is is answering um, oh very good oh, but yes. it's something that we will probably be discussing as well amazing perfect lovely I moisturise every day apart from pole dance. Oh, Leanne mo moisturises every day. Good on you. Well done. You're literally showing us up here. <laughs> I'm terrible. I really, really am. Um, Sarah, I've had consultations with both of you and you're both fantastic. Hi. I love it when people join when they've had a consultation. That's really nice. Um, Lovely. Oh. What's your suggestions on keratosis polaris on the legs? That is actually one that I didn't have on my sheet, but I'm going to answer this now because I've got this on like, um, I get it a little bit on the backs of my arms, but also exactly the same as you, like just down the side of my hip here. And the, the best thing for that that we found is regular exfoliation. So with you, the skin on your body, it's more resilient than the skin on your face. And it's actually thicker than the skin on your face as well. So you can actually exfoliate it a little bit more often than you would be able to your face. So the face would be one to two times a week. With the body, it can be up to three times a week. Um, but obviously space them out. So um, you can do that with um, a body scrub you can use muslin cloth as well so this is our exfoliating muslin cloth um and it's more it is it is slightly rougher than um the jewel effect it's and got more texture to it hasn't it it has probably, yeah i wouldn't really want that on my sensitive skin on my face but it'd be fine for your body absolutely more, yeah um, a bit more helpful so get like you know you can use it in the shower get the warm water on it and then just gently kind of you know like i kind of like mitt it around my hands and then just like um like rub it on that area but also is keeping that part of your skin really really hydrated so it's kind of just down to like general body care as well that like, you know like I was saying before like we forget to actually like exfoliate it as regularly um, as we probably should do and moisturize it so moisturizing every single day and just doing that exfoliation about two to three times a week um, and you should start to hopefully notice um, a difference with that um, keratosis polaris um but yeah rose oil as well actually would be really helpful wouldn't it for helping you could add that to the body cream or something because it's going to help the, the skin to heal a bit better as well a bit quicker yeah absolutely yeah Just or you can even drops. like put it over the top if it's like a certain area mm. um you could put some rose oil over the top but yeah mixing it in is perfect as well um never forget that you can mix stuff into like body products much like you would do with like like your face products you know like, moisturizer you can mix a body cream into not body cream sorry rosehip oil into you definitely would not be wanting to put a body moisturizer on your face um but yes so um right let's let's move on so we're going to be talking about how to look after your body so talking about the skin on your face how much effort we put up put into our our skincare routines you know we will we will cleanse we might even double cleanse if we've been wearing makeup or spf um you know we might be using like a tonic to like get that hydration in a serum a moisturizer an oil obviously an exfoliator and a mask and all of that 
We don't do any of that for the body, do we? We don't really... And also, if you're covered up during the winter with your layers, it's kind of, you just forget about yeah. what's going on underneath and that you do need to sort of look after a little bit more, give it some yes. love, really. So Absolutely. So that's why we're saying, you know, like, because we're coming into summer, you know, more bits are going to be on show. You know, we're going to be getting our legs out, our arms out. So we, we want to make sure that our skin looks good. I mean, I've been that bad with, you know, making sure that my skin is moisturised on my body that like I was saying before, like when I, when I skip a day or it might be like three days in a row, I know very, very bad, but I have got like quite a bit of like dry texture on the tops of my arms here. So I know that I need to, you know, I'm going on holiday in like three weeks. So I need to make sure that I've got like some goods. Um, I'm really kind of like kicking up my body care, but we should be doing it regularly anyway. And I think if it, just becomes habit then it's it's a lot easier mm. to do um but to be fair i must admit even though i say that you know it can be down to time not doing like your body care it doesn't actually take that long if you think like you know like you're in the shower like you do your wash and whatever get out i tend to do like my i focus on my face first because that tends to feel really tight first but then you know get like the body moisturizer on it really doesn't take that long i think people just find that because it's such just a big surface area you know your face isn't that big is it but your body is that big surface area where it can be like oh do I really have to put my body cream yeah. on if you're tight if you're very short and tight yeah it's isn't it so so um yeah that that's why we're here it is actually quite quick if you just get it over and done with then your your body will thank you and you know um you know we talk about you know getting like lines and wrinkles on our face we get this on our body as well. I know we tend to cover up as we get older, you know, like some people don't like showing like certain bits off, but my goodness, like what would happen if you actually really took care of your, the skin on your body as well and feeling really confident in it. Um, and that's just down to like general like hydration. As I've always said to a lot of our customers, like the key to anti-aging is hydration, like keep the hydration in your skin and your skin will really thank you for it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like, you know, if you wanted to do like a body routine, of course it would be like, you know, you're in the shower, do general wash. So we've got um, some great products to kind of show you. So first, um, particularly if your skin is really, really sensitive and maybe you've got a skin condition, you wanna avoid like all of these like foaming, much like we would avoid foaming cleansers for the face, we would avoid them for the body as well. So we've got Gentle Genius Body Wash right here. Um, this one doesn't have the same emulsifiers that, you know, you would just like have like a lather all over your body. You actually need the... So it comes with your konjac sponge. Yeah, lovely konjac sponge. Um, so it's, it's something that can be put into like your, is it like a compost, like outside yes. of your garden? Yeah, yeah. it will biodegrade. Yeah. It'll biodegrade, it can go in your compost, um, but it can also just like go in like the normal bin because it will literally just degrade. So um, it's from the vegetable root, isn't it? From konjac. Yeah, so vegetable fiber. Roots. That's it. Yeah. That's and it. And obviously it, it's really hard now, um, but once you, you it, it gets damp, once it's wet, it's nice and, and soft and quite spongy. Mm-hmm. So it just really helps with when you're using this um, to give the kind of illusion of foam, doesn't it? And as yeah. obviously it's not highly fragranced and it hasn't got SLS in, so it's really, really gentle on the skin. It is, yeah, very, very gentle. And the the we actually took the inspiration from our Middlemas 7 cleanser. So for those of you who already use Middlemas 7, which, um, can you just pass that one over just so we can show it? Amazing. So this is Middlemas 7 here. And um, for those of you who already use this one, we use a cloth to remove it. And, and the reason for that is because it doesn't have the same emulsifiers to be removed with just water on its own. It does need to be removed with something. And that's what we've kind of taken from, um, from this into the Gentle Genius body wash. Um, so that's what the konjac sponge is gonna do. It's gonna act like the cloth that we would use for our face um, and it will help to one to get the lather going of of the of the product because it doesn't have those same like foaming agents and um, but it will help the cleanser to be removed from the skin without feeling like it's like stripped or anything like that so yeah we literally took it from that and um, they've both got chamomile in not chamomile sorry camellia yeah. 
um, in there. So Camellia's in this one, and then Camellia's also in Gentle Genius, um, and it's really high in vitamin E, so it helps to maintain your moisture barrier. So a really good um, ingredient to use to make sure that the skin is maintaining its natural oils. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice, it's got a lovely, what was it, bergamot like sort yes. of? Um, yeah. fragrance to it so it's very uplifting camellia and bergamo that's it yeah. so just pop that one back over there um so that's like that's for body wash now of course that's like your first part kind of like step in like your body care routine so of course we cleanse the body and then once we get out of the shower um you re if you've got very very dry skin on the body it is quite important to try and get the moisture um onto your skin as quickly as possible because while it's like the skin is um, got like moisture to it and um, also the air will be trying to evaporate the, the the moisture from the skin so try and get it on as quickly as you can if you've got um very very dry skin or a dry skin condition really important and um, don't worry about the face too much you can always do a spritz of tonic um to that kind of get that uh, moisture back onto your skin before you then apply um your your other skincare products on your face but your body is more kind of time sensitive so I would always um, do like my, my body care first and then I'll do my um, my spritz afterwards just to get my skin slightly damp again and then go for it. Um, if you're going to exfoliate, um, I don't know, how how would how do you normally do it? So if you're going to exfoliate your body, do you cleanse first and then exfoliate or do you exfoliate and then cleanse? Yeah, um, actually depends if I'm which kind of product I'm using because yeah. it's quite often the, the oil base. Yes. So I just go straight in with that because you have to do it onto dry skin. So. Mm. But it depends what product you've got, really. So, that is yeah. true. Yeah. But if you were using something like the cloth, mm. you'd probably want to use it with a little bit of, of product on it, like Gentle Genius or something. You could yeah. do that, couldn't you? So, um, yeah, depends on what it is, what the product is. So yeah. It emulsify. You know, if you're using it, if I'm using a body scrub, mm. I prefer to do it onto dry skin. Otherwise, it's emulsifying as it's yeah as i'm moving it around so yeah, yeah absolutely yeah so like for yeah for me i would if i'm using the cloth i would um put um the gentle genius on all over my body and then i would do that to kind of like yeah, scrub yeah. away almost like a loofah, um, loofah type yeah fashion. exactly yeah. exactly but um holly's right like if you've got like um a nice natural because we don't do a, a body scrub maybe that's something we should put on the product mm. request um but um there are some really nice ones out there like and remembering that your skin is more resilient so things like a sugar scrub um would actually be too much for the face but actually on your body is really really good to really work Work at those dead skin cells and really get them off um, and if you can get one that is kind of oil based I actually find mm. I don't need a moisturiser afterwards yeah, I was gonna say, that's it's what I like most about those yeah. yeah so if you are short on time and you need to exfoliate your body use your body exfoliator and then if it's oil based you won't actually feel that you need to put moisturiser on afterwards so if you are in a rush that's actually a good alternative um but yeah, you know, body oils as well are really good. Like, you know, like like we were saying before, like even mixing like the rosehip oil or even like the Light Fantastic into to, to body creams as well. Like that's all really, really lovely. Um, what I will say though, and this is going from a very personal experience, is in summertime, I cannot wear a heavy body cream. I don't know if any of you are the same. Um, and if you are, let us know either in the comments or say like, um, tap on the hearts but I do find that it's just it's too heavy for me I'll tell you a really funny story that I told Holly earlier <laughs> which was so it's it's with Polly Plum actually yes Polly Plum is the richer one yes which I put on before I went to so I had a shower in the morning I had a yoga class in the afternoon and like later on in the afternoon and I put um Polly Plum because I had my good um, psoriasis flare up all over my body so I did need to put some on but it was in the height of summer and I went along to this class and um, I can't do a forearm stand but um, my teacher always used to like help me and just hold my legs up she could not grab my legs because I was that slippery from literally sweating out my body cream so um, what I find much better in summer and a lot lighter is our after sun this is really, really lovely. It's it's a like cream gel sort of consistency like you would normally have um, for an after sun. But I find with the cooling aspect to it as well, um, this one is just a lot lighter and you can just feel um, a nice kind of like softness to the skin. It doesn't feel really heavy. I can just feel that my skin is nicely, lightly moisturized without it being like too heavy and you know, 
it's the same thing with the skin on your face you can get oilier in in summer months and um, so you might tend to go to a lighter moisturizer same with your body your body can get oilier as well and that's where the after sun so actually for me it's it's a savior because it, it it gives my skin that moisture it's lovely and light and i don't literally feel like i'm sweating so soothing as well that one you can actually keep that in the fridge so that's ready for you to use if you have if you are a little bit sunburnt or you've been, you know, you've been outside for too long and that is absolutely brilliant for calming your skin. Yeah. Um, I found this one really, really helpful um, after I had some laser treatments, which was actually across mm. this area as well. This just really calmed it right down. Um, it was so soothing and, and calming and, and, and hydrating yeah. for my skin. And it's got, um, so the main ingredients in this is you've got oatmeal, um, which is obviously incredibly soothing. And then you've also got sea buckthorn, which is a great antioxidant. So it's helping to fight those free radicals. And of course, you know, antioxidants are so good when we've had sun exposure as well. So um, a really lovely light um, moisturizer to put all over the body, whether you've been in the sun or not. And you know, it's just incredibly cooling. Mm. And like Holly said, keep it in the fridge when you have been on holiday and in the sun or even just out you know in the sun in general when it's hot over here and so soothing also i found it useful um if you've got some of the prebiotic inulin at home maybe you've got that maybe maybe it's one that you're not getting on with on your face just add it to your your body product i found it brilliant good in that. tip really good because it's about the skin's microbiome so add it to that yeah so if you've got our prebiotic inulin um little booster great tip to, to to mix that with that as well um that uh, i literally thought of something then to do with um what we were going to talk about adding vitamin c i've added vitamin c to have you i wasn't going to say yeah, that but no that's i a good have one. actually i have because i'm so concerned about sun damage for my decollete and my neck area so i mm. will add the vitamin c booster a couple of drops to that to my moisturizer that's going here anyway but any of my body body products as That's well so really really good. Good. it's an antioxidant it's brightening isn't it so yeah yeah good. i mean we do say that to add that to like your um either like your serum your moisturizer spf during the day and it's going to give you that antioxidant protection so even with like you know um uv rays they can set off free radicals in your skin and what's amazing about an antioxidant is that it can stabilize a free radical without becoming a free radical itself so it it literally stops that chain reaction so vitamin c is just an amazing oh, a bit of science thing. oh i love a bit of science you know <laughs> i literally say that to um customers in um in consultations I'm like, I'm going to go a little bit sciencey on you here and <laughs> talk about antioxidants in a chain reaction as if I'm a scientist. I'm definitely not. Um, but yes, um, so talking of sun protection, um, our SPF, which is the British Summertime SPF 30, we do it in a double size, which Holly is um, beautifully showing you there. She is my glamorous assistant today, um, showing all the products. But um, yeah, the SPF um, is great, not just for your face, but all over your body as well. Um, it's a 75 mil in the double, and then the smaller size is a 40 mil for, you know, face or body. It doesn't matter what size you get, they will, obviously, if you're gonna use it on the body, 75 mil is gonna be better. But to be honest with you, I used it in Greece last year, and I actually came home with a full size bottle. I definitely was topping it up, I promise, um, but I did take a few bottles with me. But honestly, it was an amazing um, protection from the sun. Like I didn't burn, I didn't get, uh, with um, another um, SPF that I tried before, um, well actually when I started the holiday, because I had a little bit to use of it left, it started to like pill um, on my skin and it wasn't out of date, it hadn't been opened that long, but for some reason it started to pill on my, um, on my, on my, on the skin on my body. So I switched to the pie one and it was absolutely fine. I, right. I, I yeah. loved it. But yeah, um, as Holly was saying, you can mix a vitamin C into the SPF and that will give you that further protection, um, antioxidant protection. Um, so yeah, whether you're putting it on your face or on your body, Great tip, yeah. Because Juliet has just asked, and I know Jess has answered as well. Can you put it onto your hands? And I do that because I'm walking the dog a lot um, along oh. the seafront, so I always make sure my hands are protected with, with the SPF. Oh, so, yeah. very, very good. Um, what else are I going to talk about? Um, so um, I'm going to move on to 
what we call body hacks. So um, there's actually um, some products that are face products that we're going to talk about as well that um, you can actually use on your body too. And there are certain products that help with certain conditions as well. Um, one product I am just going to mention first is the Impossible Glow. Now, hopefully you guys will have seen quite a lot of the impossible glow recently because we launched two new colors in it um but one that i kind of wanted to revert back to um right now is the bronze one so the bronze was the original if you can hold that up to the yeah. screen look at that gorgeous color so if you are on holiday, you've got a lovely tan going on, this is really going to set it off. Now, um, and then we've also got the two lovely new colours, which, you know, if you're going out anywhere and you want like a bit of highlight or like on your collarbones or anything like that to kind of like have a bit of shimmer, these two are really lovely as well. Um, but what I'd say about the bronze one is when you are on holiday and you've got that golden glow and you really want to set it off, um, mixing the Impossible Glow into your body cream or your after sun, or, or even you can like layer it over the top if you really wanted to, but I find mixing it in just gives that like nice subtle kind of like sheen, yeah, it's doesn't got a it? Darker depth of colour to it, hasn't it? Yeah. This one, so yeah. Um, but I'm just, I'm just gonna pop yeah. a little bit on my hand just so that you can see what I mean. Um, but we I mean, should have done this after I came back from holiday and then I could put it on my own tan. Hopefully I get a tan, you never know. Um, but basically, that's the colour there. So if you have a tan, that's going to really set that off. So if you are, you know, got your legs out and you're going for like, I don't know, a really nice dinner or you're going to a wedding or a night out and you just want to really emphasise your tan, the Impossible Glow, like onto like body cream, like onto your legs and stuff will really hit that off. If, again, you can do it like on like your decollete or on your arms if that's all on show. But um, yeah, honestly, like utilise these products for the face on the body as well because it will really hopefully you can see that there it will really set off a tan and it's so beautiful um so that's one hack um another one is yeah um the middle mess seven can be used as a shaving cream so if you were to put that on your legs or under your arms like this is a great like it, it gives a really nice slip for one thing so it's not like you know pulling um or even like scratching at the at the legs um but it really has um that lovely like kind of like cooling calming sensation as well it's to dry your skin out lots of things yeah it's nice and hydrating Exactly. So rather than just running your legs underwater, if any of you um, do like shaving that way, where you run it underwater, actually putting a product like the um, Middle Miss 7 cleanser on will just give you that extra bit of slip. So it's not like uh, it will just glide over the skin rather than like pull or if you've got like any little bump areas like for me it's like if I'm really cold and I've got like you know goosebumps all over my legs that you know I can't shave my legs in that it's li it will literally like tear them to shreds so having something like a middle miss seven on your legs will just really help with that glide and um, and um, we were talking to a colleague earlier about um, you know using it under your arms to shave underneath your arms and it, um, particularly if you get very sensitive underneath there and um, that is a really nice way of of just again getting that um like cooling calming sensation there as holly just said as well like it's gonna keep like you know the moisture there as well because what uh, middle miss seven does amazingly well is maintain your skin's natural oils so in those really like delicate areas um that can really really help mm. um so yeah middle miss seven as a shaving cream um now we're gonna go on to like skin conditions now just because there are some face products that can actually help with conditions on your body. So for instance, who gets back knee or chest acne? Give us some hearts or let us know in the, in the comments. But chest and back acne is um, actually really, really common. And we do get it quite a lot in consultations. Um, We've had like colleagues even talk to us about um, these kind of issues as well. And it's like, oh, what shall we use? Like, how, how can we, how can we, um, you know, settle this down? And actually, the stuff that you would use on your face, you could actually use on your body as well. So we've got a few products here to show you. Um, if you do suffer with chest acne or back acne, um, one of them is Carbon Star. 
So Carbon Star is an overnight treatment. Uh, don't worry, you won't stain like your bed linen with, with this. It goes clear on application. So um, you might, if it is on your back, you might need to get um, someone to apply it there for you. But um, you'll shake the bottle first and then just put like a few drops into your hands and then just massage it in um, onto the skin on the on the body where it, wherever the um, acne is. Um, so that this might, can might really help. Rinse it off in the morning. Oh, definitely yeah. rinse it off in the morning. So you will need to have a shower in the morning. So when you're using Carbon Star on the face, we always say make sure that you cleanse in the morning. So it'll be the same for using Carbon Star on the body. Make sure that you have a shower in the morning to get. It's basically to get the charcoal out of your pores. Um. So what the charcoal does is it gets it deeper down into the pores and just breaks ev anything like that's kind of like you know clogging up the pores. Um. And it just basically helps to loosen everything so that it can come out um, of the skin and basically it decongests the skin and then you've got the black cumin seed which helps to neutralize any bad bacteria on the skin so it is a, a really good one to use if you are struggling with any sort of acne on the back or on the chest area and you only really need a few drops of that that's the thing so once you've mm. given a good shake a couple of drops of that will be fine to spread across the area where you need it to treat yeah, that will be good. Absolutely. Um, then we've got the All Becomes Clear Serum, which, again, is another treatment product for the face, um, but you can use it on the body as well. So um, hold this one up so everyone can see. Look at that. I love the bottles, they're so pretty. Um, but yeah, so All Becomes Clear has Copaiba in there, which has really good harmony with an acne skin. It helps to kind of calm down the inflammation. So if you ever find that you get acne that is quite inflamed on like the back or the, or the chest, this is a really, really nice one. You can use it morning and night. Um, so you can apply it in the morning. The zinc is oh, really yeah, good at regulating the sebum on the skin, isn't it? So it's, it might sort of feel like it's drying the skin out a little bit, but it's, mm. it's a really good active ingredient for breakouts. Yeah, really, really good. Um, and you probably will notice that a lot of kind of like um, blemish or acne products will contain zinc in it for that reason as well. Um, so yeah, you could use that morning and night. Um, you know, there's no, you don't need to rinse off or anything like that. It's something that can just go into the deeper layers of your, of the epidermis, which is your top layer of skin. And it can just really work um, down into those layers and really basically work from the bottom upwards so it's like a targeted treatment product so that's all becomes clear serum and then the other one is dinner out so dinner out is our lovely um our lovely mask it is an exfoliating mask so it has aha properties um to it and these are derived from pink pomelo so the pink grapefruit family so these are fruit acids that are uh, that will basically just dissolve away any dead skin cells so of course in this case it's dissolving away dead skin cells on like your your chest or back and um, where the acne is but it also helps to draw out impurities as well so the Carolyn clay will really help to do that and again this has the copaiba in it as well and um, so it's going to be calming down the inflammation around the blemishes it's going to be drawing out the impurities it helps to refine your pore size as well so if you do find if you've got any large pores around those kind of areas that will really really help um my partner actually suffers with um a lot of blackheads on his on his back I'm oh. sure he will like absolutely love that I've told you all that um Normally, if I'm doing this from home, he hears me like in the other room saying like certain things about him. He's like, what were you saying about me? He can't hear this time because I'm in head office. So, but um, sometimes like, you know, if I make him like do a mask or something, we put like uh, certain things on his back just to give it a go. Um, and it just worked quite nicely. So do you remove with a muslin, muslin cloth afterwards? Do. Oh, yeah, be easier to remove. And also it's very gently exfoliating, isn't it? This, this mask. Yes. And then using the cloth as well to yeah. remove it would be very... Effective. Exactly. Lovely and decongesting. Um, always, if you're using these kind of like products, this is where the the key to getting like good skin on your body is keeping a really regular routine. I can't say this like enough about consistency with a routine. The more consistent you are, the more benefits you're going to see in the long run. And um, it's when we kind of, you know, kind of like come in and out of it, you're not really going to see those benefits. So if you are really struggling with any sort of like condition on the skin on your body, just keep it really, really consistent with, you know, using like a good um, body wash that's not going to strip your skin. Um, so something like the Gentle Genius. Um, 
exfoliating regularly, so that's two to three times a week for the body, and moisturising every single time. Even if you're like, um, you know, you, you have got areas where it might be blemish prone, um, moisturise your other areas, but then in those areas, use one of those treatment products if you're really suffering, so like Carbon Star, um, the All Becomes Clear Serum, they're daily products that you can actually use. Um, and then treat your, your, you know, when you're doing like a face mask, um, you know, pop some on like your back or your chest. And, um, you know, like I quite often see um, people do it, bring a mask all the way like down here. And um, it is just a really good way of just think about your body care as you would your face care and you can't go wrong and just keep that consistency. Um, so like for me, um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the show, I've got psoriasis which can appear on my body. And what I find really helpful um, is, and this will go for anyone that's got a dry skin condition, so like um, eczema, dermatitis, um, on, the skin on your body um, needs just moisture, loads and loads of moisture. And like I said, depending on the time of year, it will either be the after sun if, you, if you're like me and you don't like a heavy moisturiser, um, and then poly plum for the winter months. And I actually, in the winter months, I will mix the rosehip oil um, either into poly plum um, or I will put poly plum on first and then if it's just like, so basically like at the moment I have one little spot of gutate psoriasis right here and um, I put the body cream all over and then I put um, the rosehip oil, I get like a little drop and I just pop it and massage it into that um, spot of gutate psoriasis and I do find that it really, really helps um, kind of, because basically rosehip just speeds up your skin's natural healing process so I do find that you know using rose hip where I can really does help with that with that process so yeah. yes you've got extra healing properties by adding it to your body cream your poly poly plum or one of your yeah. body creams doing good um now to finish off with we cannot forget the hands we're talking about body we cannot forget the hands and I know quite a lot of people who we've had consultations with recently have had really bad hands and you know this you know we've talked about like skin on the face and then like just before you go what can I do to help with my hands or like someone would actually be I've actually had quite a few people specifically coming for a consultation because they've got really bad skin on their hands and when I say bad skin I mean like they've got like dry cracked almost like you know um, peeling hands and they want to know what's going to help um, and we have got like a couple of products that will really help with this but what I would say as well is doing like a treatment at night time so something like heavy metal hand cream this hand cream is really really lovely it doesn't have like a greasy residue so you can literally get on with the rest of your day you know you're not kind of waiting around for it to sink in um, you know, you don't have that horrible issue of like going to write with a pen and it just slips through your fingers. Like it does absorb really, really nicely. Um, so that you can use throughout the day. And then at night time, if you want to give your skin a little bit of treatment, particularly if your hands have been quite cracked and really dry, put your um, put the hand cream on and then put the Peacekeeper Balm over those cracked sort of areas. So if you get it kind of like here or on like more of like your knuckles, like that will really, really help just kind of nourish um, your skin overnight. If you've got like any gloves, um, try popping some gloves on as well, like like some old gloves or something like that. Or I think you can get like these like treatment gloves, can't yeah, you? Yeah, and for your feet as well, that would mm. be great actually. Yeah, um, so anyone that's got like draw, really cracked heels, yeah. Mm. Um, Cause my, mine used to be really bad, you know. And um, now I don't have so much of like an issue with them. Um, and then my hands used to get really bad as well. And then I didn't have an issue. And then this year, I think, I don't know, maybe it's just like the weather or something, they, it started coming back and this is really really good like you know just giving your skin that bit of TLC um like I said you know we'll give TLC to our skin on our face but we'd never think about doing it for our body so hand cream all the way through the day when I, definitely after you've washed your hands um and then using peacekeeper at night time over the top um would be really really nourishing and then you know within like a few weeks you should, no should notice a massive difference in the skin on your hands mm -hmm. Definitely, really good one. Um, and also, you could add, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of rosehip oil again mm. to your hand cream at night. If you know that's going to be on your hands overnight, it's easier to do, isn't it? Um, yeah. Or prebiotic inulin. 
Prebiotic in, in your lens. If yeah. you can't get hold of Freebird serum. Uh, yes, so we've got um, a hand serum that's called Freebird, uh, which we launched around the same, well, a little bit after um, we launched Act in Spirit, which was the hand sanitizer. We've also got um, a hand soap as well that's called Soap Sud Island. Um, so if you do find it difficult to find um, a hand wash that isn't irritating your hand, then give Soap Sud Island a go. That's a really good one. But Freebird is our hand serum, so it's light, lighter weight than the, than the um, heavy metal. Um, um, but it's got inulin in it, which is that prebiotic that Holly was mentioning before. And it basically just feeds the good bacteria on your skin and gives it the good environment on which to grow. So, um, yeah, particularly protecting your microbiome on your hands, on your body, if you're really struggling, um, is always a really, really good one. So if you've got um, eczema or psoriasis, mixing the inulin into... Um, the body cream yes. is a really, really good one. Yeah, it's um, poly plum. But also you could mix um, mm. rosehip oil into it as well. But yeah, either of those would work really nicely. Um, so they are all of our body care hacks and tricks and routine advice. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the show. Um, it's gone really quickly, actually. It's gone really quickly. But we have actually, we've gone like, normally we'd do like half an hour. We're 40 minutes in. Obviously, there were so many products to talk about because we don't really talk about body that much. And we might do some more body ones and maybe we'll like, you know, do like little sections of bodies. But if you want us to do another body show, please do let us know. We really value your opinions and your feedback. So if there's any certain topics that you want us to do, please do email them in to us. Um, so the email address we would be support at pieskincare.com. Um, and yeah, any any sort of topic that you want us to cover, let us know. And, you know, because we want to make these shows, you know, informative for you guys, but we want to make them interesting. You know, if you're not interesting about, you know, find it interesting about, uh, I don't know, like, learning how to put a mask on or something I don't know I'm just thinking something off the top of my head but um we want to make them interesting for you so do let us know and um, what shows you would like to see and maybe it's about like putting certain products together or anything like that but do let us know um don't forget the offer on body products today so if you if you're thinking like yeah I really do want to make sure that my skin's looking nice for when I get my legs out in the summer or whatever um then remember that there is 20% off using the code summer um and we do have um a link um on this chat where if you click it it will go straight to the page that's got all of the body products on it um and they're all the ones that will have the 20% off it's for the next 24 hours so if you are thinking about it go for it the code is summer and you'll get 20% off so you just add code summer at the checkout and um it will give you the 20% off the final total um but yes um I hope that's been really really interesting um if you are still struggling with um doesn't have to necessarily be um you know skin on the body um it might be skin on the face but if you're struggling with your skin in general don't forget that we do offer free skin consultations with me and Holly. So um, if you want to chat to us like on one on one um, about your skin in more detail, then um, book in a consultation with us. Like I said, they're completely free. You can have as many as you like. You can have follow ups um, and things like that because, you know, skin changes over time. So, yeah, always book in for a consultation. We do 30 minutes and 10 minutes. So anytime that suits you we are here for you we're here to service you so yeah do book in with us if you are struggling and would like a chat about your skin because we're here to help um but yeah thank you so much yeah. for joining us again holly um i hope you all really enjoyed it did you enjoy it Holly? yes yeah, it's, it's a very, very nice, chilled, relaxed uh, yes. little, little show. So, little show. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, we hope you all really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, you'll, you're seeing Holly again soon. I'm pretty sure she'll do some more of these live shows. Because all of you seem to love her as well. Anytime that I'm in a consultation, I'm like, oh, I love Jules and Holly at the um, live show. Like, doesn't she look great? Um, I completely see what she means about um, the uh, instant karma and panicking when I run out. Product. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, if you want to see more of Holly, stay tuned because she will definitely be coming back for more shows because she knows how much you love her. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely rest of your evenings or all day, wherever you're tuning in from. Um, but we'll see you again very, very